If you go on to enjoy the video, do me a favour and hit that like button. It really does help out the channel a lot. And through Team of the Season, we are going to be doing a hell of a lot of player reviews. And of course, if you need any coins to get you through Team of the Season, head over to u7buy.com. Through Team of the Season, they are doing a pretty big promotion. 15% off when you use the code TVM at checkout. The link is in the description. What is going on guys? TVM here. Welcome back to a brand new video. Here we go then. It is time, or nearly time, for Team of the Season. These are my... Final thoughts before we find out exactly what we're going to get at 6 o'clock. Of course, you can join me here at 6 o'clock or there thereabouts anyway, probably about half 6. By the time I get the video out, uh, there'll be initial reaction to the entire, well, start of the promo anyway. This is kind of like the warm-up, isn't it, right? Because we get EFL and we get most consistent. You know, most consistent tends to be decent, but it's not on the same level as the top five league team of the seasons. EFL is kind of testing the water as well to see what uh, what we can expect. I'm really hoping that they go a little bit hell for leather with objectives this time around, give us just a ridiculous amount of stuff to play for, drop daily SBCs of at least one player a day. You know, you don't have to do all of them. It would just be nice to have that option to be able to do this and that objective or leave that one and go after this one. Maybe you can try and complete two at the same time. You know, just, just bombard us with that sort of playable content rather than... Or we've put all this in packs. Speaking of which, though, uh, what they've done or what they're about to do with Team of the Season does worry me a little bit. And that's kind of the reason for the video, really. I just want to put, sort of put my thoughts out there. I've not written anything down, and this isn't scripted in the slightest. I've got no idea. I've literally just press record. But I'm, I'm from what I'm seeing, they're going to do 15 Team of the Season cards from each group. I would say League, but the EFL as always, for some reason, is grouped together as one team of the season. There are three leagues involved in that, and they've grouped it together for one. It would not kill them, and nor would anyone complain if they gave us 15 team of the season cards from each league. So 15 championship, 15 league one, 15 league two. And a lot of people would be moaning or complaining that the League 1, League 2, and some of the championship players wouldn't be up to standard. What's the point in these cards? We can't use them, blah, blah, blah. Boost them. You know, give them 86, 85, 86, 87 rated cards. No one is going to complain. No one's going to look at them and go, oh, you've boosted them too highly. I can't believe this game. I'm off. I'm playing Pez. No one's going to say that. Everyone's going to go, wow, well done, EA. That is, you know, you've made these cards usable. Thank you. I am a, you know, insert team here, Newport County fan. And now I can actually use... A player from the team I support for the first time in ever for some clubs you know some clubs don't get informs and I think there are a couple of uh, teams in FIFA especially in the EFL who have never had a special item and just to use Newport as an example uh, Wilmot was it at least last season or the season before I think it was last season uh, Wilmot had a man of the match card and I think Newport have only ever had one maybe two at a push informs in the entire history of FIFA so it really wouldn't kill them to do 15 players from each league but you know I digress they're not doing that that's one thing that does concern me I'm really hoping that they don't do that for the Premier League and Bundesliga and, and so on and so forth but you know they probably will they're a big fan of this two-week promo thing as well so you, you never know they might end up saying well we'll give you 15 cards from the Premier League this Friday and then on Monday or on Tuesday for another three or four days, we'll drop another 15, but we'll take the other 15 out. And then for the final 24 hours, all 30 are in packs. That is such an EA thing to do. I really hope that's not the case and they just give us a full 22, 23-man squad. Uh, but, yeah, I'm not sure what they're going to do. They Most consistent, of course, just not, not a warning. You can do what you want, and I'm going to definitely do what I want. But just be aware that most consistent is tailored designed and released with the full intention of getting people to spend everything that they possibly have before they release the bangers there will be maybe one or two cards in that uh, most consistent team of the season that will blow your mind and you they will make you want to open packs that's what it's designed for that's what the most consistent is all about it's to get people to spend everything that they've been saving everything they've been storing gone until then the Premier League drops and then all of a sudden you've got 10, 15, 20 cards that you're thinking, oh crap, this is a team and I would love any, any one of them and I don't have any packs left. I'm either going to have to spend all the coins I have to try and grind these packs or I'm going to have to put FIFA points in, which is of course 
what EA wants. So just bear that in mind that there's always going to be something a little bit better around the corner when it comes to the Premier League and the other major leagues as well. So don't go and just spend it for the sake of it. I've you know there's a few fair few packs, 83 times 10 or something I think. Uh, I did that. I don't think I'm going to open it this time around. I think I'm going to wait just a little bit because I know full well that that I would much rather open that pack for the Premier League team of the season than I would for the most consistent because the majority of the most consistent are going to be quite cheap as well. And the reason I say that is because of what I've just said. Everyone is going to open their packs. People are impatient. All it all it does is just to pay a little bit to wait just to open them. Uh, in terms of other things I'd like to th see through Team of the Season, it would be really nice if we could see the odd pack offer here or there, some half price packs and stuff like that for with coins. We never see half price packs for FIFA points. We, do, we see two for one every now and again, but that's generally only a one-time thing. They have let us down an awful lot with promos this year. They seem to be getting worse. And like I said, with regards to the 15 players per team thing, I am a little bit concerned that this team of the season promo isn't going to live up to the majority of people's standards, myself included, because during... What promo was it? They they did something... I just had it in my mind, and now all of a sudden it's gone. I think it's a case of the, the amount of players that they've been dropping more than anything. Uh, so they, they didn't do a winter refresh for the first time in a long time. There was no winter ones to watches. I mean... To be fair, there weren't that many transfers, and during these unprecedented times, I'm sure that that will be their excuse if they're ever asked and they actually give an answer. But at the same time, yeah, they, they've sort of been dropping less and less players into each individual week. They've been doing two-week promos to sort of try and disguise the fact that they've been giving us less, even though, you know, they've, they've been giving us less... In, in combined, in total, because they oh, we've got two teams, so, you know, we're splitting it up, so you are actually getting more. No, we're not. Over two weeks, we're getting, what, 10? Well, no, not 10. 20, 25 players, but we used to get 22, 23 for one week, and then next week a new promo would start, so we're actually getting less. But EA would disguise it as we're getting more because they've split it up. But I really hope that they, they go a little bit hell for leather because we need it now. Um, with especially with the turmoil of football the last week, I think we all need cheering up a little bit. I mean, we are happy now that things have seem to have settled down a little bit. Although fans of the uh, of the clubs that betrayed us essentially, uh, yeah, not not too pleased with them. And I don't think I'm going to get over that for a while. But something to cheer me up would be quite nice. So I would love a banging team of the season promo. What was the point in this video? Just to air a little concern, and that when six o'clock drops, I can say up. Oh, Oh look, they've um, they've they've not surprised me. They've not made the promo what I wanted it to be, and they have disappointed me. I I am fully geared to be disappointed, but I am hoping that they drop a fair few objectives and SBCs at six o'clock. They give us a lot to play for. Maybe they dish out some free packs as well. Why not? Not free packs, but like SBC packs. Uh, so, you know, we can go after like uh, 50k packs and stuff like that or maybe make a massive, you know, like they do uh, marquee matchups. It would be so cool if they gave us like just a big random puzzle SBC. They could even make it repeatable. And every time you complete it, maybe it just randomizes and it goes completely different so that it's not the same thing. Because if it's the same thing, then it, it might mean that, you know, 75 rated Boadu is going to be selling for like 8 or 9k. But if it's randomized, then it would mean that every single time it's going to be something completely different. And maybe they could randomize it for each and individual person so that not every card. I mean, that wouldn't even be difficult to code, I'm sure, if they made it so that when you completed the SBC, it randomized for you. Maybe there's like 10 or different 10 different prefixes or something. But if it randomized so that it would be different requirements for you to your mates and so on and so forth, it would make every card rise off the ground on the market and you know everything would have some sort of value to it because each an individual SBC is tailored differently and then they could do it so that there's maybe 10 in a set and the the pack at the end is like a 100k pack or even a 50k pack make it tradable come on have a little bit of fun and then throughout that they do like 25k packs and 35k packs and just make it some sort of big puzzle SBC give you a reason to keep all your cards and not dump them into upgrades and they could just keep that in the league system. So it's not specific to a league. It's just completely random. Uh, they could do it f for like previous fixtures. So they could go back some of the most historic fixtures. They could do El Clasico and the Merseyside Derby and so on and so forth. Milan Derby. Just random things with different requirements. That would be so cool. They, they did it not so long ago. Well, say not so long ago. In a previous FIFA. 
apologise for hitting the table. They did it in a previous FIFA where they did like a Champions League one. That was cool. And we've not seen anything like that since. So I'd like to see that return. I just want to see something different really more than anything else. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there because otherwise I'm just going to repeat myself and ramble and not really talking about anything. I'm just sort of talking. But uh, let me know what your thoughts are going to be or are for this upcoming team of the season. Are you looking forward to it? Are you optimistic? Do you think it could be good? Are you expecting it to be bad? Do you want to see something specific? Let me know in the comments. And of course, I'll read through them and we'll go through it at six o'clock and see if anybody hit the nail on the head, uh, myself included. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, of course. And until the next time, goodbye.